I'm out here again to do another International Space Station transit. It is about 4.35 in the morning. This time it's obviously going to be a lunar transit. I'm out here just south of my home near Tooele, Utah. And found this parking lot would be ground zero. I've got the same setup as I did for my solar pass earlier. And you can't really see much on the video here, but this is pretty much ground zero. The pass is going to go right overhead. We've got the moon up there. Now the moon isn't as high this time as the sun was in a previous video. So that means that the pass is going to be slower because the International Space Station is farther away. This time instead of the three quarters of a second that it took for the solar pass, this pass is only expected to take, or, or will take, excuse me, more than two seconds. And I'm filming this time at 60 frames per second instead of 30. So we should get quite a bit more resolution in the pass itself. And it's quite smoky out here. That color on the moon is just due to all the smoke and wildfires in the western states here. There's no filter on there. But anyway, as soon as we get close, I will get back and we'll record it. Got the same radio station going here, so that'll be a timestamp. And the pass is due at 4.48 and 7 seconds. So it'll be just like before. I'll count it down as soon as 4.48 hits and see if it's as accurate for lunar passes as it is for solar. Back in a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I saw it go by. It was a little bit early, actually. It was forecast at 4.48.07, and I definitely saw it go by earlier than that. So the prediction was off by a second or two. Back in just a minute. And just to be consistent with the previous video, here is my GPS location at the time of filming the video. Here in this parking lot. And one moment. And there's my location just north of Twilly, Utah, near 2400 North.